Breaking news. Pelosi has stated that democracy must w and in Ukraine. It seemed like our only option was to end it all. The Russian invasion had only just begun when House Speaker Nancy Pelosi made an unexpected trip to Ukraine, leading a delegation of U.S. lawmakers to Kyiv. Even now, Pelosi refuses to reveal the secret entrance she and the other legislators used to enter the nation's capital. Pelosi told the Associated Press, it was very, it was dangerous, in reference to the trip, a day before the one-year anniversary of it. As for the possibility of death, we never feared about it, but we thought we could die because we're visiting a serious, serious war zone, Pelosi said. Even though we were well protected, it was still a war zone. The visit by Pelosi was both unprecedented and historic, as it established a new diplomatic channel between the United States and Ukraine, which has only strengthened as the conflict has dragged on. Since then, a long line of Democratic and Republican congressional leaders, senators, and chairs of powerful committees have followed her lead, with President Joe Biden's own visit this year serving as a high point. The constant influx of visitors to Kyiv highlighted the political and military alliance between the United States and Ukraine for all to see, an alliance that will be put to the test again this year when Congress is expected to help fund the war to defeat Russia. It is imperative that we triumph. Pelosi emphasized the importance of a successful resolution, saying it would benefit both the Ukrainian people and the United States. She stated, right now in Ukraine, we see the battle between democracy and autocracy playing out on a global scale. Pelosi, a Democrat, is confident that Congress will continue backing Ukraine as part of a broader U.S. commitment to democracy abroad in the face of authoritarian aggression, despite the new Republican majority in the House whose Trump-aligned members balked at overseas investments. The American people support democracy in Ukraine and there has been bipartisan and bicameral support for Ukraine in both houses of Congress, Pelosi told AP. In my opinion, we will keep fighting for democracy for as long as it takes to succeed. Pelosi is cautious about her new position as an emissary for the United States as the Speaker Emerita, an honorary title bestowed on her by the Democrats. As the first woman to hold the position of House Speaker, she broke new ground by traveling to 87 different countries during her tenure and drawing attention to issues occurring far beyond U.S. borders. Pelosi displayed many of the awards and mementos she had received in her Capitol office, including the honorary passport she had been given on her final trip as Speaker, which included a stop in Ukraine. Future House leaders may or may not follow in Pelosi's footsteps. What the new leaders do on the international stage, she said, is entirely in their hands. She argued that, since other speakers have understood our national security, since we take an oath to protect and defend, it is up to the United States to reach out with our values and our strength to ensure that this actually occurs. Photo of President Volodymyr Zelensky greeting Pelosi and other U.S. officials outside the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv went viral, showing international solidarity with the young democracy fighting Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion. She went on to say that it was a sign of the resilience of the Ukrainian people that their president had the guts to meet with us on the street rather than in his office. In a video from that time, Pelosi can be heard telling Zelensky, Your fight is a fight for everyone. Pelosi stated, I would have hoped that it would have been over by now. However, after a year, the war is still ongoing. There have been political hurdles and controversy surrounding Pelosi's trip abroad. Despite the Republican president's, America first, neo-isolationist approach to foreign policy, she served as an alternative emissary abroad during the Trump era, assuring allies that the U.S. remained a partner. In one of her last official trips as speaker, Pelosi landed in Taipei with a delegation last year to cheering crowds and a visit with the Taiwanese president that drew a sharp rebuke from Beijing, which claims Taiwan as its own territory. The military drills China conducted after her visit were cowardly, she said.